Let's take a look at why TSM is important for automation. We already have the ability to do things like combining safety, motion and normal control on one network. But TSN will now allow us to do things like mixing together traffic that maybe isn't directly related to the control of an application on the same network too. So for example, maybe streaming video from cameras being used in inspection tasks that can now also share the same network. Because we can prioritize traffic types, that means that we'll be able to do all this without slowing down the network or negatively impacting the performance. This means we can now put more traffic on the network, we can get better utilization of the network, better utilization of our bandwidth, and therefore improve the performance of the system. We even have the potential, in theory, to even combine different kinds of industrial ethernet all together on one physical network. This also offers a chance to lower our total cost of ownership. Instead of having the costs of installing and maintaining multiple types of network to address the different kinds of tasks we want to do, we can potentially do it all just on one single network. So let's consider how TSN could actually offer some benefits for a real-world application. So imagine you've got a normal manufacturing facility where, as well as assembly operations, like for example in, in an automotive plant, you also have a large number of quality control stations and inspection processes. You can combine it all together on the same network by using TSM. You will be able to tremendously simplify your network infrastructure, reduce your costs and simplify your maintenance to make all this function together on one single network. TSN is offering a lot of benefits for us, especially as we move forward into the future. However, we should also remember that TSN is a work in progress. Certainly, it's mature enough to offer technologies and implement applications now. We still have to remember that TSN is basically a pipe which allows us to get data from one place to another. So we still have to consider how we can do things like handling safety protocols, motion protocols, and so on. What we are seeing now is that the IEC and the IEEE are working together on a working group that will now produce standard profiles for TSN in automation. We will be able to get the converged network architecture that we're looking for. However, this also depends on using OPC UA technology alongside TSN. OPC UA is a method which allows different kinds of devices or systems to share information together in a very seamless way without having to maintain multiple different protocols to do that. Recently, the OPC Foundation has announced that they will extend OPC UA to the field level, offering a situation where we have real-time control on the shop floor using a combination of TSN and OPC UA. While many of the major vendors are supporting this, it will be an open vendor independent standard. By using these two technologies together, it looks like we have the potential to deliver the converged architecture that we're looking for. Automation life cycles are very long. Well, there's a tremendous installed base that will continue to be used for many years to come. We also need to implement projects right now, which will also be using technology that's available now rather than what's going to be developed in the future. So really, we're at a position where we may not actually have the holy grail, but at least we know where it is. Why are all the big vendors supporting this? The days of closed proprietary systems are long gone. If you don't have open technology, you won't be able to get into the market. But what we will see is a situation where interoperability is a given, and we know that the converged network architecture that we're looking for is going to be offered by every vendor that we work with. Competition will still thrive between different vendors, which is good for the customer. We are moving to a situation where vendors who don't support TSN are probably not going to be able to compete in the future.